Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and through this video I am going to explain how can you build your own spam filter in just 10 lines of code with the help of a python library known as scikit-learn. For building a spam filter, I just extracted the publicly available SMS data. Let me just show you from where you can just download. You can just go to this website which is UCI machine learning repository. They have put together uh, SMS collection data. You, I will provide this link into the description below. You can see this download. You can click on this. It will take you to the next scheme where you will be having a SMS spam collection. You can click on this, unzip that data, right? So I have already done it, right? And I just rename it with this SMS corpus.tsv. And if you just wanted to see the content of this data, you can see this file has a tab separated data. The very first thing is the category and then we have an actual message, right? So we have only two columns uh, with the tab separation, uh, category and actual message, right? So let's get into the demo. Uh, let's get into the coding part and see how can we build that. But before that, I would really like to thank the team or the contributor who has put together this data because this data has a lot of good information through which we can easily understand how these spam filter uh, actually works, right? So very first thing is which you have to do is you have to just bring in all the modules which we have in ISKLearn. Uh, later on you can just decide what specific module you want to have it. And then you have to have a pandas as PD. Right? So these are the two modules you need. If you haven't installed the scikit-learn yet, uh, I have already published one of the video and I will provide the link in the description below. You can just follow through uh, these steps how you can just install. Right. The very first thing which we have to do is we have to just read the data which we have, right? So we already know that, right? Whenever we have any machine learning algorithm, because machine learning algorithm basically only understand numeric value. So we have to first convert all the data into the numeric. So how we can do that, right? So for that, I have already, uh, right? Uh, let me just bring in a few things. So what I'm doing is I'm just passing the uh, path where it is and then I'm having a header and then I have to just give since it's a tab separated I can use you know the direct TSV read, read table as well but let me just give separation here and then I have to just give the names and names has to be in column so I have to give this category and then second column should be message and I have to just put it this is done and then I have to do uh, one more thing like I have to just create a one another column category underscore now to convert you know the category which we have which is either ham or spam right and how can I do that so for doing that I'm just gonna use a math function right which all the data frame has from the PD side from the part basically and I have to give a dictionary here and how I wanted to okay so what I want is I want ham to be considered as zero and spam has to be as one now so I have just you know converted ham and a spam as a zero and a one now we have a text so how can I just you know convert the text into some kind of uh, matrix token so for that I'm just going to use a count vectorizer but before that what I wanted to do is I just wanted to split up you know uh, my complete data into train and a text train and a text data set so for that I just splitting what I'm doing is x train x test y train and y test right so x train is the actual message X test is the messages on which we will be actually checking whether the spam filter is working fine or not and the train Y train by test is nothing but it's actually the category or the label of that particular message. So in we have cross uh, basically we have one module called cross validation dot train underscore test underscore is split and that expect uh, we have to just pass the SMS data dot message this is my x right and then i have to just give you know the output or the category or the label which we have and that is we have category underscore now and then i have to just give a random underscore state so that if i just wanted to rerun that again so i can just have the same data otherwise that random state means it will have 
it will split up with the different different uh, you know different data sets so having one state we can split in the same way we are using the same data the next thing is for that what we have to do is now we have split up the data so now what i have to do is i have to just create a document term matrix so what does it mean document term matrix is nothing but it's basically convert all the words into some tokens and for each token there is having a some uh, frequency so how can i do that so this is the line of code so what we are doing a feature underscore extraction dot text dot count vectorizer right so if you will just search on a google count vectorizer it will just give you the definition but by definition uh, what this count, count vectorizer is convert a text into the matrix of a token counts basically then this fit function is basically help to learn the vocabulary like what all vocabulary we have in a specific messages right the next thing which we have to do is we have to transform you know so whatever we have now we have just converted into the tokens now we have to actually create we have actually just learned the vocabulary so count vectorizer uh, convert the token and fit actually helps to just learn the vocabulary now we have to convert that into the trans now we have to convert that into the basically the dtm document term matrix how can i do that right so what i'm doing here is i'm just converting x frame uh, document term matrix and the x test document term matrix and so this is the same uh, text to matrix token converter and i'm transforming x train as well as x test right which you can see on the screen okay now the next thing i have to just you know define basically our classifier so which classifier we are going to use uh, since it's a classification for uh, uh, text data so i'm just going to use a uh, nb multinomial nb which is nothing but the naive naive base uh, algorithm right so i'm just initializing that and then i'm just fitting the whatever the data i have so what uh, data we have x train dtm right this is nothing what converted into the tokens in the terms of number and for x term this x y train is already in a numeric value which is a predictor so this is going to actually train the data right now so we have defined our algorithm and then we have just you know uh, trained our model now we have to just predict okay so for predicting what we can do is we can just predict equals to and be classifier and dot predict function and what does it need it needs x test data right x test dtm basically so i can just pass this and then what i can do is i can just quickly print so i have already write a small code now i'm just going to use a matrix module inside that we have a accuracy score then we just going to give a y test and a by predict by predict is something uh, which is actually our model is predicting and y test is the actual value right so now it will give us a accuracy so let me just quickly save it okay let me just go on this filter new and let me just run it so if i didn't make any mistake in the code now you can see it is having 98.8 you know percent accuracy right but it may happen that it is being underfit or over underfitting or the overfitting right so that we actually get to know when we are running this model at against the actual the real data right this is just a complete data on which we have first trained and when then we test it so 98.8 something which is in my opinion is the best accuracy which i can uh, think of right so but that is how you can just build you know the spam filter if you just count the number of lines you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 in just 10 lines of code we have just built that spam filter so that's it from my side for this video if you have any feedback or any comment please feel free to put that in a description in the, in the comment section and if you want me to just explain all these stuff in a very detailed manner because in one video we i cannot cover this you know i know there are a lot of advanced topic which i need to cover in more detail but if i just get a lot lot of comments where i have to explain each and every line in more detail then definitely i would love to come up with some new videos that's it from my side and stay healthy and keep watching and keep learning a new stuff